Good evening. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Joe Ripley. First at 11, we are following some breaking news this evening. Three Atlanta police officers are now recovering in the hospital after a shootout in the Capitol View neighborhood in southwest Atlanta. Tonight, the police chief says the suspected shooter is now dead. 11 Alive's Teresa Bowles is live for us tonight at Grady Hospital. So, Teresa, what do we know now about the condition of these officers? Well, Joe, this afternoon we know that two officers, excuse me, three officers have been shot. One was hit in the shoulder, one was hit in the leg, and the other was grazed. Two of those officers will be going into surgery here at Grady Hospital, but the support for them is already pouring in. A violent start to a holiday weekend in Atlanta. Once again, you see that guns are causing harm in our communities. This time, three officers trying to stop potential harm were also hurt. Atlanta Police Chief Darren Shearbaum says they were responding because a caller felt a person with a weapon on Fairbanks Avenue could be a threat. When that person was found on DeSoto Avenue, officers took action. And didn't encounter an individual that's armed with a handgun and a knife. During that encounter, there was a struggle. That struggle escalated to gunfire, three officers injured, and a dead suspect. Neighbor Jose Escoban says with this being Mother's Day weekend, he's just relieved no bystanders were hurt too. For this incident to happen within a thousand feet, you have children out here playing in the playground. The neighborhood is real shifty but it's not nothing new. Shearbaum says two of the officers were shot and one was grazed. Other APD officers on scene rushed them to Grady Hospital. While Shearbaum didn't share any names, he did say two of the officers are 31 years of age with four years served, and the third is 28 and only a few months in. Atlanta Mayor Andre Dickens says city officials were on their way to a fundraiser for APD before they had to get to the hospital. We've talked to the officers. They are in good spirits. As you see, a lot of Atlanta Police Department officers are here supporting uh, their brothers. And I watched dozens stand and park outside of the hospital. Shearbaum says he's just grateful that the outcome wasn't worse. Now he speaks directly to his officers and then to the city of Atlanta. Your co are going to be fine. I appreciate what you do for the city, and I want to reassure the citizens of this city. We're still protecting you. Thank God for protecting our officers. The GBI has taken over this investigation, and so we have very little information at this time. That means we don't know the name of the suspect nor the three officers that are recovering in the hospital right now. Also, DeSoto Avenue and Genesee Avenue, that intersection has been blocked for hours. Live in Atlanta, Teresa Bowles, 11 Alive News. Teresa, thank you so much for that live report and staying on top of this. Of course, we are going to continue to follow this story for you. As more info pours in, you can get the latest updates on the 11 Alive app that is free to download in your app store.